Shalom. Shalom. Right? Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise to see a how about Shai. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of great millstone that surely do you well. Salutation to the Akim that push this word out in sincerity and truth. Alright, um, this is GMS Cam Chinlad, um, Brother Kwada, right, Brother Lamad, Brother Howard, Brother Kwam. Right, we just want to do a little video going into Ephesians chapter 1, you know, just through the spirit of Yahweh Shem El Shai to show that, that who the Apostle Paul basically was sent on to, right, because a lot of people they get confused with, um, this deduction being the Gentiles, being that Paul is a minister of the Gentiles, right? But these men wouldn't go against the commandment of Yahweh Shai when he say, um, into the way of the, the Gentiles and turn up or empty city of the Samaritans, right? But go on to the Lordship of the house of Israel, right? And anybody who knows the scriptures know that Israel was scattered through the four corners, and it's only Israel that the most I know. Alright? I Right, so the scripture said that Yahweh Shai, the one who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, was sent but unto the Lordship of the house of Israel. Right? Because in the time of um, Kings, right, um Second Kings 17, verse um around verse 18 there, right, when the Mosai ran the kingdom in two southern kingdom um being judah benjamin and levi right he, in the time that salman as a ruler of syria he took over the northern tribe right which were the, the ten tribes that came over here right but only the jews was only the um the jews basically was in israel but the other ten tribes was considered gentiles but they were scattered abroad that is scripture say he came unto his own and his own receiving not right or a sheep he have that is not of this world Right, so Paul, Paul here was talking to the to the, the men in um, Ephesus, right? But a lot of people say, you see, well, man, who he talking to here? God damn it, is Israelites he was talking to, right? So, right. Ephesians chapter one and chapter one it says, Paul, an apostle of the Hashem Mashiach, by the will of the Most High, to the saints which are at Ephesus, right? To the saints that which are at Ephesus, right? So I'll just read in here, this is um, right in Bible Dictionary, the Son's Bible Dictionary, right? They're talking about Ephesus, and who was there? It says the capital of Proconsular Asia, which was the western part of Asia Minor. It was um, colonized principally from Athens in the time of the Romans. It bore the title of the first and greatest metropolis of Asia, right? It was distinguished for the temple of Diana, who there had her chief shrine, and for its theater, which was the largest in the world, capable of containing 50,000 spectators. It was like all ancient theaters open to the sky. Here were exhibited the fight of wild beasts and of men with beasts. Many Jews took up their residence in this city, right? So it, they had Jews there, right? The children of Israel. And here the seed of the gospel was sown immediately after Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, verse 9 and 6 and 9. It says, at the close of the second missionary journey about AD 51, when Paul was returning from Greece to Syria, he first visited the city. He remained, however, for only a short time as he was hastening to keep the feast probably of Pentecost at Jerusalem. But he left Aquila and, and Priscilla. Priscilla behind him to carry on the work of spreading the gospel, right? So many people will say, yeah, well, it had Jews there, but he would have been preaching to other people. But he's singling it out. He said to the saints. So let me see who were the saints, right? In Psalm chapter 50 and verse 5, it says, Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant by with me by sacrifice. Right. So Mosai was saying, what gather his saints together? Them that make a covenant by sacrifice he was going into the law right because romans chapter 15 verse 4 said the things that were written a four time was written for our learning all right go ahead uh, exodus. yeah now the exodus 24 chapter 4 verse 4 it says that moses wrote all the all the words of yahweh and rose and rose up early in the morning and built an altar under the hill 
and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered both offering and sacrifice peace offering of oxen unto Yahweh. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in a basin and half of the blood he sprinkled on, on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it and read it in the audience of the people and they said all that Yahweh had said will we do. Right, so and this was this was um a covenant that the Mosai was making with the children of Israel. Right? No other hey, because guess what? When they came out of the land of Egypt, other other people from other nations was there. They did hey, they get an opportunity to live with the children of Israel. Right? Man, it would it would have people who would have tried to be pretending to be Israel too, but the most I know who is this. Right? So that is why in the scriptures they always talk about speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel because other people would have been there. But the most I make no covenant with them. Right, go ahead. That's Right, verse 7, it says, And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people, and they said, All that Yahweh had said will we do and, and be obedient. Verse 8, And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahweh had made with you concerning all these words. Man, right? So, so that was that, that was a, a covenant by sacrifice, Man. right? There, there was sacrifices, and they, they they put that blood, right? And that is why we, we even offer up our body as a living sacrifice unto the Most High, right? So you just read what the word saint means, right? Because some people they say they make a saint to whatever the case is, right? But a saint is who the children are. Israel. So you read that and then you will read the um, Psalms from after. But this is Saint, a person sanctified, a holy or godly person. Right, a person sanctified. When you look up the word sanctified, it means to be clean, separated, or, or, or cut off from 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 um well basically like filter from other um thing, right? Or or to be holy, go ahead. One eminent for pity and virtue. Any true follower of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, as being redeemed and concentrated to power. Yeah, being redeemed and concentrated to the Mosai. Right? Consecrated. So. Consecrated. Right? So, read that for me. Yeah, Psalms, Psalms chapter 148 and 14. Also exalted the Lord of his people to the praise of all his saints. Well, right, he exalted the horn of his people, right? The praise of, of, of all his saints. But his who the, 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 his people is who the, the children of Israel, right? This is um book of second Samuel chapter 7, verse 24, right? Just to prove, right? It says Second Samuel 7 verse 24 For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever and thou Yahweh art become their power. Alright? Go ahead. Yeah. What does it say? He also exalted the horn of his people with the praise of all his saints even of the children of Israel. Even who? Even of the children of Israel. Even the children of Israel. Right? So those are the Mosai saints. You Negro, Latinos and natives are the children of Israel. You are the saints of the Mosai. Nobody like like um Saint Teresa or whatever the case is just can't become a saint. These are the so-called false saints. Right? You have to be born into this thing. Alright? God. Or the forefathers, as you rightfully said. Right? Give me um that is it on that? Give me, give me Amos 3, verse 1 and 2, right? Who are the Levites? Verse 20, 26. Look at the verse, huh? 20, 26. Right here. Okay. 
This is Leviticus 20 verse 26 and it says and ye shall be a whole you shall ye shall be holy unto me for I Yahweh am holy right so it says ye shall be holy unto me for the most high himself he is holy right clean sanctified right go ahead and have severed you from other people severed means to cut so the most high cut us from other people all right meaning more to be what he made us holy he made that 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 covenant uh, uh, that, that sacrifice um with the children of israel right so the, these are the people who the apostle paul was speaking to right um, so jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 3 says israel was holiness unto your house and the first fruit of his increase all that devour him shall um, offend him. Evil shall come upon them, said Yahweh. So like we do from Kasha. Um, Jeremiah 2 and 3, chapter 2 verse 3, it says, Israel was holiness unto Yahweh. Right, it said Israel. It said Israel, no other nation was holiness unto the Most High. Right, Israel was holiness unto the Most High. Go ahead. And the first fruit of his increase. And the first fruits of his increase. Right, go ahead. All that devour him shall offend all that the boy shall open right um go ahead with the amos this is amos 3 verse 1 hear this word that the that yahweh had spoken against you O children of israel against the whole family which i brought up from the land of egypt saying you only have i known what so israel he was talking to say so he said what you only have I known. You only have I known. Go ahead. Of all the families of the earth. Of all the families of the earth. Right? Deuteronomy 32, verse 7 and 8. Right? The Most High, when he separated the nations, he took he took Israel to be his own. Alright? So Israel is the only people that the Most High know. Right? The scripture said the other nations were, were like a spit. Right? Or a drop out of the uh, what do you call it? Right? So the most high he didn't he, he never really cared, he never really considered these other nations. He only cared about Israel, right? The Negroes, the Latinos and the natives. Oh. Well is um Deuteronomy chapter ten verse fifteen. Well it says only Yahweh had enlightened in thy fathers to love them and do. And he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is today. Can so who you're talking about there? You're talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the twelve um patriarchs and the seventy that went into the um land of Egypt. Done. Right? So just to back them up there is Psalms chapter one oh five verse um seven so verse 10 it says, um, just now, I read from verse 6, it says, O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, he is Yahweh our power, his judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, right? So is Israel the most I was always catering for all the time. So the Apostle Paul, really and truly, when he was at Ephesus or these other um, churches in Asia Minor, right? He was speaking to none but the Jews only. As a matter of fact, somebody could bring that out real quick. Acts. Yeah, you had Acts 11 and 19 it says, Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenix and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. Yeah, none but unto the Jews only, right? They that were scattered abroad for the persecution, they went and they speak none to the Jews only, right? Henceforth, hey, if a lot of you people really actually don't know about the, the Apocrypha, 
the wars that Israel had with these other nations, hey, the Mosai wasn't ever coming to redeem these other nations. Because all of them touched Israel, hey, in the book of Esther, right? They, they, they talk about these other nations basically come together to try to destroy Israel. Right? Because all of them wanted what a one world order way where basically everybody keep the custom of the Gentiles. But Israel had um, laws contrary unto their ways. You understand? Isaiah chapter 49 and verse start from 13. And it says, Sing, it says, Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, bring forth unto un, un singing, O mountain, for your hour has come forth, has comfort, has comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Right, comfort his people and have mercy on his affliction, on, the, on his afflicted. Right? You people was in captivity underneath the hands of the so-called white man. Right? So when he most like comforting us, he comforting with the words, what the words of salvation. Uh, the scriptures say, uh, basically, he that bring it, uh, glad tidings unto Jerusalem, or for Zion. You understand? Because guess what? We all want in our lowest state, but the most high have made that promise to come and, and aid. Uh, the book of Luke, we're going to read that. Basically, comfort us from the hands of our enemies. You understand? But, oh, he said, but Zion said, Yahweh had forsaken me. My Lord had forgotten me. Yes, that is, what, that is the, the, the kind of spirit some of you people in right about now. Like this. I like, it's a lot. Yeah. Huh, say it, I'm saying that I'm like, uh, oh, like, oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. You see? Yeah, just like that, fool, oh, like. The great example that most I point out on two men's spirit at the same time. You understand? Yeah. Because Paul, oh, like, Hey, Paul, I don't know nothing by the Bible. Hey, you believe that the black woman is God. So guess what? Henceforth, yeah, she'll forsake us. Yes. The scriptures say the daughter of my people have become true. So yeah, if, if, the, if the so-called black woman was, was a God, she would have been blasted evil. She would have been here. Um, Zeus blasted white. Well, I just why you didn't put it. was kind of telling you, right? That nigga confused. So you say, you say, you say, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to be because if, if, if it is that you consider the black woman to be God, but then they say atheists are atheists with somebody who believes in God at all, so yeah. Yeah, can. Yeah, that, that's the thing. You, you can't be an Egyptologist, right? And you is an atheist. Because they are them, there is a nation with a lot of words. I have a it says, but Zion said, The power had forsaken me, and my Lord had forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child? Good. That she should not have compassion on the son of a woman? Yea, they may, for, they may forget. Yet will I not forget thee? Can't, right? So the most high he said what he, he will not forget. He will not forget Israel. Come up here, you will. Then behold, I have waved with thee upon my path of my hands. Thy yeah. walls are continually before me. Can eh, hey, hey, come like the most high tattoo Israel in the hand. Uh, <laughs> you understand? So the most high, every time most high look, most high see in Israel, he can't forget Israel, right? This is Romans 11 verse 1. You have something? Yeah. I just want to just read this, right? Yeah, right. It says, I say then, had the Most High cast away his people, Most High forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. And this was the Apostle Paul talking here. Yeah. You understand? Um, this is Second Ezra 2 verse 28. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall, they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith Yahweh. <clears throat> yes, yes, that is it. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Can, right? So the Messiah is talking about protecting Israel right there, right? Hey, and they, they, we just brought out that, that just first one we read so far, we are more to read. And guess what? The amount of precepts don't come out. 
Right, and a pastor can't do that. The, the church wants to believe in so-called Jesus Christ. They can't do that. But I say this. How, how the most I never delivered any other name. Can. Can. I did never deliver any other name. Never delivered any more rights. Uh, so I never delivered any other nation. People who ever get seen, get seen because they have a part of health police or something. Can. Can. Um, and I... So that... I have... Yeah, we have. We have. Yes, and I just one or two. People. I just one or two people, and guess what? Even though the the the, 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 the thing about it is, even though they get saved or whatever the cases or, or some kind of trick we they try to get saved, you understand? They still end up being tributaries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they still end up being tributaries. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Um, like the um give you um the children are give you know whatever you. Canaanites, they, they end up at the, I think he was, he was a wood or always drawing water for Israel. I can't remember. Um, guys in Joshua, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Verse chapter 1 and verse 2 says, Grace be to you and peace from the Most High our Father. From right, the power so of Father. it said, Grace be to you. Well, let me see who the Spirit of Grace on. The Most High said that He um, will pour the Spirit of Grace on. Right? Because the Most High said the thing that He said before. Right? He speak of the things before. This is um, the book of Zachariah. Because a lot of people talking about grace, 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 but they don't understand who grace was um, given to. It says Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. It says, And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. Right? And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him. Right? So, hey. It said that he poured his spirit of grace and supplication, meaning what they they they, they cry out to most side and they look upon the one who they who they are pierced. Because guess what? When we come into real, realization that yeah, we shall come like that serpent that we we'll look upon for salvation, right? And we we'll mourn for him like how the his bride mourning for him right about now. We we'll waiting for him to return, right? As one mourning for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him. Huh? as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn, right? So right about now, a hey, scripture say, um, the time will come that they will fast because um, the bridegroom won't be with them, right? So it's talking about the, the children of Israel right there, right? Give me the, read over that part here. Yeah, we'll see. says grace be to you and peace from Yahweh our father right from who Yahweh our father no who is the honest people that they could say the most size of father give me the arm um, Exodus 4 22 and give me Deuteronomy 4 give me, give me Deuteronomy 14 and Exodus chapter 4 and 22 Says, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus says Yahweh of Israel, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Right, so the most I call Israel is son, right, even his firstborn. Right, he's. And when the firstborn has get Khan. Firstborn has get the hair, can he? Firstborn has get everything. Khan. Um, this is. Prevail. This is, um. Deuteronomy 14, I will start at 1. Ye are the children of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Right, and Moses was talking to who? The Israelites. Go ahead. Ye shall not cut yourselves nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. Yeah, so the Mosai he laid long he rules each children one time. You understand here he children, right? And he laying down he rules, he talking to Israel, don't do this, don't do that. He never, he wasn't talking about the Moabites or any one of them, right? This is Jeremiah 31, um, I'll start at verse 19 to, and stop at 20. 
I'll start at verse 18. It says, I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself, right? Ephraim is one of the head, the head um, tribe of the northern, the northern kingdom of Israel, right? So sometimes when um, the Mosai talking about Judah and Ephraim, they talking about, about um, the head tribe in Israel, right? Or them is the same ones that basically are called Gentiles now, right? Gentiles, the reason why they basically Lord call it a heathen or a Gentile call it drawn to idols. Our scripture say Ephraim is drawn to idols. So the Mosai basically cast out Ephraim as a Gentile. But when salvation was opened on to the Gentiles, it was um, from mainly from the tribe of Ephraim coming all the way down to Isaac. Right? So the Mosai wasn't talking about the Gentile being heathen, just the creation. Um, he was talking about the Gentile Gentiles. Right? So I'll just read this coming down. Yeah, the word I just see. Right? It says, I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself. Thus, thou hast chastised me, and I was chastened as a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Turn thou me, and I shall be turned, for thou art Yahweh my power. Right? Surely after that I was turned, I repented. And after that I was instructed. I smote upon my thigh. I was ashamed, yea, even confounded, because I did hear the reproach of my youth. What being drawn to idols, folly, right? That why the um, scriptures say, I will um, provoke them with a foolish nation, right? So this was Ephraim talking about his folly when he was young. It says, verse 20, Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For since I speak against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore, my boys are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him. Set your how up. Right? Mercy upon the Gentiles, the mercy on who? Ephraim, the, 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 the children of Israel. That's so right. the most high sake, uh, give me that, give me Ezekiel 36 verse 6, 37 verse, verse 16. This is Ezekiel 37 ah. well. verse 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, for his Judah, companions. For the children of Israel, his companion. Go ahead. Take, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Ephraim and the whole house of Israel, his companions. Right? This is where he will have mercy upon the children of Israel. Going back to Isaiah 14, verse 1. All right? This was this was the valley of dry bones. So this was Israel was talking about, right? In in Ephesus. So Paul was speaking to who in Ephesus? The Israelites. Right? He wasn't talking to these other nations. Because the scriptures have to be fulfilled. Right? Um that's all. Right? Um so we don't leave features. Right. So line up on line, precept upon precept. That's why you write, you divide the word of truth. Right? So all these Christians, hey, it's, it's just money them for. These scriptures said that they are not healing the hurt of my people. Roughly paraphrasing, they, they, they have not gone out into the hedges. Right? Because really and truly, the children of Israel are the ones who need comforting. Not these other nations who are already living in their heaven. Right? They don't want the Mosai come back. They want to see Israel. Hey, them getting rich off of Israel back. Why we should let Israel go? Tell me why I should let Israel go, just like Pharaoh. But you're going to know why just now. Right? Right? Blessed be Yahweh. And blessed be Yahweh and Father, the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. Right? Who, who, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, the Mashiach, yes. according to the, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Right, holy and without blame, right? Um, the ones who he had do what? According as he had chosen us in him before the foundations of the world. Now, now who was that, right? That was the, the elect of the house of Israel. Give me, um, give me the Romans up. Romans 8, 27 to 28. And we'll give that this is Romans 8, verse 27. 
and he and he that searcheth the heart and he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercessions for the saints right he maketh intercession for the saints not the other people but the saints who are Israel go ahead. according to the will of power according to the will of the Mosai right the will of the Mosai is to redeem the elect out of the, the 12 tribes of Israel to make them a governing body to govern the, the, the other nations right to keep them in check I right, do it and when and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh to them who are the called according to his purpose them that love the Mosai right and fear his name Nehemiah chapter 1 right the people who, who um, choose to fear the name of the Mosai right go ahead for whom he did foreknew, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Right, him, those who he foreknew, right? Um, Amos chapter 1, um, 3 verse 2, right? Israel, right, is the only nation that, that he know, right? Go ahead. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Yeah, that he the first born among many virgin. Right, that's something here. This is um Second Ezra chapter seven verse ten. It says, And I said, Is it so? Lord then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sakes I made the world. Right? So the most high he made the world for Israel's sake. So it really truly Israel is a nation who he formed you. Israel is the people who he foreknew that time in, in the spirit realm and he made the world for, for Israel's sakes, right? From in the womb, the most I know each and every one of us by name and what he would what would be our purpose upon earth. Alright? Um yeah, some Jacob, I knew. That I knew it. Uh, I don't I don't have that on this Alright. Um Right? Give me the, the gem, I'll turn to you again. Yeah. chapter 2, verse 3, it says, Israel was holiness unto Yahweh, and the first fruit of his increase. And the first fruits of his increase. Right? It's, it's his first set of creation. You understand? Beginning with Yahweh, Shia, Mashiach. Right? The first born of all. Right? Well, here we are. Yeah, right. Right? Um, it's false. It says, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame, and without blame before him in love, having, that having predestinated us unto the unto the adoption of children right predestinating us unto the adoption of children so a lot of people went and say well you see if, 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 if Israel was already your children then who he going and adopt right who he going and adopt he going and adopt his own children right because why um this is Hosea if I may say to, to redeem means to buy back Can. you know so Right, uh, as brother said, to redeem it means to buy back. And the Mosai who, who he who he bought was was Israel. Right? This is what they are. Right? Okay. I just bear with me one second. This is what they are chapter one because a lot of people go in and say, um, right? If, if the Mosai, if Israel is already children, why he going and adopt back his children? Because it's at a point in time that the Mosai actually, he, um, you know, Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 3, right? Um, this is Hosea chapter 1, I'll, I'll start at verse 5. It says, And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel, and she conceived again and bare a daughter, and Mosai said unto him, Call her Loruhama, 
for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by Yahweh their power, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horse, nor by horsemen. Now when she had weaned Lo Ruhamah, she conceived and bare a son, then said, um, Power, call his name Lo Amai, or Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. Right? Yet the number of the children of Israel, well, well yeah, I'll stop there because we went on, the Mosai actually cast them off. He said, hey, guess what? You people are not my people. Then he said, yeah, it cannot save, neither is it as heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated, have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Yeah, right? So, so because our sins are our transgression, the Mosai actually, he cast off Israel from being his people, right? And what he did first, he, he cast off Israel and he caused Judah to basically do what put up the Lord to death, so he cast off all, so he'll have mercy upon all, right? So really and truly, all of us are being adopted again as, as children, right? Going back into the book of Ezra, where he said, your houses I will take and give unto another people, right, in the Apocrypha, right? But the people that the, house, the houses that he'll take is, take away from, right, are the children of Israel, and he'll return and give it unto the children of Israel, henceforth. That's why he said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Meaning what? The people who were supposed to inherit the kingdom first, he, he, he cast them off. But we coming in, being called by another name, he'll give us a new name, which was our original name, Yasharala, right? And then, we being the last, will be the first to enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right? Um... Right. Verse, verse six. Verse six. It says, "To the praise of the to the praise you of the." You talk about the adoption, right? I didn't talk. Give me Romans nine, verse one to four. Right. Yeah. Right. Verse six. Verse six. Right. Romans chapter nine, verse one. It says, "I say the truth in Mashiach. I lie not." Go ahead. My conscience also be in the witness in the Holy Spirit. Right, the Apostle Paul begins speaking here. Right, go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accused for Mashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. He brethren, he kinsmen, according to the flesh. Right, are the seed of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob and the twelve patriarchs. All right, go ahead. It says who are Israelites? Go ahead. Pertain at the adoption. To do what? To whom pertain at the adoption? All right. So Israel is the ones who pertain to the adoption because Israel was cast off from being his people. But he made an everlasting covenant unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the most I don't come promises. Um, he go be slack on the promises. Right? So guess what? He basically cast off Israel for a time to, to, to teach Israel who is a rock and who, who is a salvation. Right? So they can learn that they need they need um Yahweh Shem Shai. Right? So henceforth, them returning unto him, Second Chronicles 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. That it was him humbling us, using his sword, being the so-called white man, to, to beat it into us. That is how now we are called on, uh, called onto the name Yahweh Hashem Yahushai for salvation. Right? So to us, he, that that blood, he sprinkled blood on us again with the, um, the blood of Yahushai. Right? So that is we we, we are returning to that, that adoption, being what born again. Right? Not 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 of flesh and blood, but of um, spirit and truth. All right. All right. Verse Ephesians, um, chapter one, verses six. It says, "To the praise of to the praise of the glory of of His grace, wherein He had made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through His blood." 
forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. Right, redemption of, 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 of blood. Right? Give me, give me the, the Luca. This is this yeah. is Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be Yahweh, power of Israel. Right? So he said, Blessed be the Lord thy God of Israel. Not the God of the other nations, but the God of Israel. He prints of power. Go ahead. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Visited and redeemed who? His people. His people being who? Israel. Israel. Go ahead. And had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Good. As he spake by the mouth of the of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Good. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right. From our enemies and the hands of all that hate us will be the heathens, the Gentiles. Right? So there's no way here in Ephesians that Paul could have been speaking to the Gentiles. Right? Because the Gentiles are our enemy. Right? I don't know if anybody wants me to go. Maybe my father. Yeah. Right? And then that blood, Moses sprinkled on them. And the same blood come back and sprinkle on them. And uh, we see it done. In Nehemiah chapter 5 and verse 9, it says, Also, I said it is not good that ye do ye not to walk in the fear of all power because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies. Right, the heathen, our enemies. Enemies. So, how, how, how Paul speaking to Gentiles here? Right? We don't, we don't see who are the saints, right? And the ones who, who basically the adoption were pertaining to, right? Go ahead, back with you. Um, verse, back in Luke, verse um, 72, to perform the mercy promise to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swear to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear. Right, so this is the, um, the blood of Yahweh Shai was basically, um, right? The, that, that was the, the, the sole purpose of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Alright? For, 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 hey, the scriptures say, for God so loved. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him. But now we see him who, who it is he, he came for. Alright? We see that what is the children of Israel. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Hello? Good. 75. Verse 75, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of Yahweh to prepare his way, his ways. One. Right. Go ahead. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people right. by knowledge of salvation unto his people of the, the common wrath right to be um when the most i come to destroy esau and america right for for us to get that that wisdom to basically um keep us along the way so we will be safe from from the wrath of yahweh and shai right so to give knowledge of, of salvation to who give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remember Remissions of their sins. Right, by the remission of their sins, which only Israel are the ones that could sin against the Messiah. Right? Which which are the religion of the Jews? Six. Very good. Yeah, chapter one was. Verse six. It says, "To praise." It says, "To the praise of the glory." His grace, wherein he had made us accepted 
in the beloved in whom we have rede redemption through, the, through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of right. his grace redemption of his blood and most side us by us with blood so guess what he come to do what redeem redeem us with blood right and to basically redeem means to buy back so we're gonna see who the most high purchase right this is um the book of exodus matter of fact somebody get up in there exodus 15 16. Fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thy hand. They shall be as still as a stone, till the people pass over. We are our, till the people pass over, which thou has purchased. Right, and the most I did what he purchased out, us out of the hands of the Egyptians by what? The blood. <laughs> right? Most I don't deal with money, he don't deal with silver and gold when he come to buy it, right? He, he, he used blood, you understand? So the Most High purchased us with the, with the firstborn, the firstborn of the children of Israel, right? And guess what? He, he bought us back with, with the blood of who? Yahushai, right? That blood covenant, that blood sacrifice, as the brother saying, it's blood in, blood out. The same thing people just do when they join a, 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 a blasted gang, blood in, blood out blood in blood out with the children of Israel too. and we underneath a covenant that we can't get away from right So it means what? When the Mosai want to kill you, the Mosai will kill you. So guess what? That is the blood. Right? Because guess what? Um, like the time I, um, when, 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 Israel, when Amalek was slaughtering Israel and, and taking the life of the blood, Mosai make a law. Alright, here what? I want you. It don't have nothing, it don't have nothing um, Amalek could do to to get away the, the silver knight that the gold went and saved them in the time of wrath right the most i come and fail blood <laughs> you understand the most i come and fail blood yes yes i went the um everyone's story went too well but it was the most i didn't tell you it's not life or life but the most i didn't tell you it's not life or life but the most i didn't tell you it's not life or life but the most i didn't tell you it's not life I say I fight tooth for tooth, blood for blood. You understand? Just let me see if I can get up. Right? I fight. Yeah, I fight tooth for tooth, blood for blood. Is that Moses' word? Gone. Because guess what? Um. The Egyptians were slaughtering Israel. Right, because what the Egyptians was doing, they're scarcing the, um, the males away and they're keeping the girl children. Right? Stiff neck. 
Is that Hosea chapter 1, 14 verse 1? Yes. Bring that one there for me. What, 14 verse 1? 14 and 1. He said, O Israel, return unto me, return unto Yahweh, thy power, for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. Yeah, I am yeah. not for the mighty of the 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 blood upon upon the head, they want to do it from the stiff neck, stiff neck and this. Can. Understand? Because guess what? Right through the scriptures, we're showing you people that guess what? Turn from the idols. The, 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 the apostles of the apostles of only talking to Israel and you you take it. So it's best to get to the program right about now or be put to death. Right? Salvation in for the rest of these nations. Stop falling in love with your oppressors, with your enemies. Right? I'm going to have a Right? I mean, the scripture is simple. Right? The scripture says, Blessed be the ones that read. But I guess you people don't like to read. Right? To understand that salvation for you. The most I never forgot Israel. Right? The most I send the apostles, the prophets. Right? The most I wake back up. Um, the elders, he, he sent out the, the elders are great men. So to teach you people. Right? I mean, all the information just a, a, a there. But guess what? It's usually one the scripture says, Seek and you shall find. You have to go. You have to be the one seeking. God. So they are saying by the sweat of Hebrews, they shall be Hebrews also. You understand? So guess what? You have to be laboring to try to look for the truth. If you, if you, if you find basically by something, I read this in the Bible. Right? This religion telling me this. And it's very contrary. Can. Once, once you're seeking, once you're seeking, you, you, you will bounce some for the Can. Once there's a man seeking for the most digest, you will find it. Can. You will find it. Hey, and not only that too, the thing about it, the most I will be justified with all the ways, so you're going to put it right in front of your eyes. You understand? But it's up to you now if you're hooking on to the voice of the, of the most I, right? Or you're just um, stuck in a stiff neck race, right? One of our brothers was telling me, telling us they, 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 they saw a, a former guy who was in Great Millstone, right? Um, Quad, Quadash, right? Name is Kevin, so the brother was asking him some questions. Because he was in the truth, he was preaching, but I won't talk him out of each other. Holy. Sanctified. Clean. Cut. But guess what? I guess he, he wasn't holy, clean, or sanctified. He wasn't he wasn't separated. Right? In, in the eyes of man, he basically looked like he was separated, but he half wasn't. Right? He, he, he fall for the love uh, of the flesh. He lost the flesh. You understand? And now Adelilah took him, and guess what? He and Delilah going on there. Alright? Right. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 8. He said, Wherein he had adopted, he had, he had abandoned towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to, the, to his good pleasure which he had proposed. Right? So it says the mystery of his will. Right? Um, somebody give me Psalm 25, 14, Nehemiah 110 to 11. Right? So, right here is... Um, so, we say, sir, where he had abounded toward us in um, all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will. Right? So, he said, making make known unto us the mystery of his will. Right? So, we're going and see who, who that is again. Right? So who, who are the Psalms 25 verse? This is Psalms 25 verse 14. The, the secrets of Yahweh is with them that fear him. Right? The secrets of Yahweh are to the ones that fear him. Right? The scripture also says in Amos chapter 3 verse 7 that it says, The most I will do nothing but reveal his um, secrets unto the prophets, his servants. Who he make um, prophets? Right? The book of Zephaniah, um, I believe is just something. Right? Amos, right? I'm Salaka Mungus Amos. Right? Just bear with me one second. Right? Right? 
here. This is Amos um, 2, verse 11 and 12. It says, And I raise up of your sons for profit and of your young men for Nazarites. Right? And who you raise up for Nazarites also, you go back into Numbers chapter 6. Right? The children of Israel again. Is it not even thus all ye children of Israel, said Yahweh? And since I hear, I read the Amos 3 and 7 too. Surely Yahweh will, um, Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right? And our secret is what? A mystery. Something unknown or hidden. Right? Um, give me the Nehemiah. Because it says what? We read over the, 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 the Psalms 25 and 2. Psalms, tw tw Psalms 25 verse 14. The secrets of Yahweh is with them that fear him. With them that fear him. Right? Go ahead. Look at Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 10. Now these are the servants and thy people. So as by thy great power and by thy strong hand. Go ahead, seek him out, Israel again. Go ahead. He says, O Yahweh, I beseech thee, let now thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and to the prayer of thy servant who desires to fear thy name. Who desires to do what? Fear thy name. Right, he wants to the desire to fear the most high. Right? So, right here in the book of Ephesians, showing you, basically, it, it's unto the ones that desire to fear the name of the Most High, which are who? The children of Israel. Go ahead with Ephesians. Oh, go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 1 and 27 says, But Yahweh, that Hashem Yahshua, had chosen the foolish thing of this world to confirm the wise, and power had chosen the weak thing of this world to confirm the things of the mighty. Right, so yeah, right. Messiah chooses to do foolish things because guess what? When you go to church, a lot of you people go in and say, "But God love everybody." But God, if He create every, um, if He create all these nations, why salvation ain't unto them? Right. So to them, it's it seems like we speak in foolishness. Right. Our Creator and God is love, and and He ain't coming to save these other nations. Right. Especially. A next foolish thing they say, these young men, what these young men know? I went to theology school for 38 years, I went, I went thing, I have a degree, however the case is, or let's take foolishness. But guess what? We wearing these robes and sackcloth, whatever the case is, is the things that we want to confirm confounding you. Because we prophesying in sackcloth, so we are mourning for our iniquities. But what about you in, in um, glorious apparel? Right? Say, say here, um, most I chose to be thing of this world to confound things that might be. can we, we, we are considered as we think can right right in these people I said we are not considered we can we consider that we and that's why they basically they were really hacking really to what we say to can you understand because we come like germs to them we come like nothing to them can yeah. and guess what we because the scriptures say um uh, is Matthew 18 verse 3 Basically, a person will inherit the kingdom unless they become as a little child. Right. A little child humble, and guess what? How that little child going and learn that secret? Because guess what? The little child basically like will fear. You understand? Will fear mother or father. Like, if you ask me, say, be, be as children, come as a, come as children, and to man, some kind of be, 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 be a man, kind of yeah. Can. Can. Basically, um, I think we are talking about basically, okay? right? You know, so yeah, right? And we, we will fear, we will fear the most high. But you, you people who believe all the big men. And guess what? All they don't need you no know, no learning because all they don't know. The scriptures talk about becoming a fool that you may become wise. Right? So guess what? We fear little children, we humble ourselves under the hands of Yahweh Shami al Shai. When you your wax fat through your lies and your riches. Alright? Alright? You people seek not after Yahweh Shami al Shai, that is why you are so ignorant. Not knowing the things that they speak of, right? Some of you will not say, 